Known for agriculture, the state fairgrounds actually became a battleground this weekend. The Armored Combat League hosted the 2014 Spring Nationals where people competed in medieval-style battles. ABC News Channel photojournalist Paul Elders takes us ringside. I've been doing this for more than half of my life. And it's not instinct at all, it's trained. Most of these guys are blue collar guys, students. You've got people that are older, they're feeling their aches and pains, and they're still out here. They're flying in here from all over the country. There's a lot of heart in this team. So you could start it today and be good. What do you say? Are you a tough competitor? The crowd's amazing. When we first came out here, which was about two years ago, we had a crowd of 30 people. Uh, today we had about 1,000 people out here. The size of the crowd makes the fight even better. You know, the crowd really liked to see the women fight, but I, I would say the biggest hit was the mass battle. Springfield, Illinois has always been the most generous of hosts. Uh, we have been courted by uh, other cities. Uh, they've, they've made a very attractive offer. Honestly, this feels like home to me. Uh, we have people come out for this, and whether you want it or not, you're going to get tested. For me, the world shrinks down to the size of my visor. It's here. I've got him and nothing else to concern myself with, which is pretty refreshing when you come down to it. You put that visor down, you can't breathe, you can't see. There's grunting. When metal hits metal, you can smell it burning. <laughs> if, if the world was coming to an end tomorrow, I want to be in this, with this, and with them. I'm guaranteed to see the rebuild. And that was photojournalist Paul Elders who put that piece together for us. The winners of this tournament will go on to Spain to take on the international community. If you want to learn more about the Armored Combat League, we've got a link for you on our website. Just go there and click on Web Watch.